Um, yeah. In other Google news, Google has killed smart features for their first and second gen Nest thermostats. They will be killed effective October 25th, 2025. Okay, so hear me out. Actually, not hear me out. I want to hear your take on this. The first gen Nest learning thermostat came out 14 years ago. You can still use it as a normal thermostat. What are the fe what features? Well, the like learning and I guess the app control, right? I think there's a difference between killing and no longer supporting. Is it being killed or are they no longer supporting it? It is effectively being killed. You can, yeah, you can't use the mobile app for control anymore. Scheduling. So this is why, like, this is a huge part of the reason why I put a strong preference on if I'm buying something that, I mean, this happened with, what was it, the, like, floor cleaning rob robot for Smash Champs or something? Mm -hmm. You were like, what happens, like, can I, can I main, I don't remember the exact Can thing. I still use it if you If the guys, internet goes out yeah. or whatever. And you're, they were like, well, and your reason was because you guys might not exist. And they're like, of course we'll exist. This is my whole point. If, if the smart learning stuff I paid more for upfront sticker price because mm -hmm. the hardware in order to do that is in the device and it happens locally, I am personally much more willing to buy. I don't think that's universally true. People look at the sticker price, do it entirely based off that. So they want the cheaper device where it happens remotely. Um, but this is why, right? <laughs> I think I'm still mad. I don't think I care that it's 14 years ago because I didn't necessarily buy it on launch day. So that, that timeline is honestly probably shorter. Yeah. And like... I'm not saying uh, I'm not mad because this thing is sold with these features and it, doesn't, it never said, hey, we'll turn them off in 14 years. Yeah. And if you bought it seven years ago... It, it didn't say, hey, we're going to turn it off in seven years. No, when I saw 14 so years... So it said it still works WTF. They're killing specific features. They're yep. not saying that it's not working at all. Yeah, like when I saw 14 when years, I was like, I don't know. Do you really expect something to last 14 years? And I was like, yeah, I do. A thermostat, yes. I expect a thermostat to last as long as my house. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Like, what are, what are we even talking about here? Yeah. Like, this is not a, you know, this is not a smoke detector, you know, change it every five years or ten years or whatever. This is a freaking thermostat. Does I don't have one. Is there, the app control was the selling point? Yeah, he knows. That's what he's what? saying. What Guys, are you chill, talking chill. about, chill. man? That's what he's saying. No, it's the same guy. He said it still works WTF. And he said the app control was the selling point. What? What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Because my, my point with, like, if there's things on it that happen locally. Yeah, it, it becomes a dumb thermostat now. So and, there's no learning anymore. And the easy thing to do, if this, if if a lot more of the stuff happened locally, which maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know this product very well. But the easy thing to do would just make it so that people could control it with like Home Assistant or something. Yeah, but that's not that easy. You can't ask people to set up no, flipping Home Assistant. But it would be much cooler on the company if they allowed people to. I don't know that it doesn't, to be clear. Uh, Pyro Pinky so says you can use homes. You okay. can, but you can't expect a normie no, to, but that is better. to do that. But this that is help. the problem with the cloud. This is the problem with anything they that's in the cloud. They are disabling Home Assistant access? What? Are they actually? Okay, this is worse than I thought. I don't know if that's true or not. The whole thing should just be immediately open source if they're if they're killing it. If, it, if it's a smart device, if it has a processor on it, then, I mean, that's the right thing to do. They should just say, okay, well... Here you go, then. Nest works locally, but won't work with hardware assistant. So it's just losing app control. Even the app control thing is weird, though, because like like we said earlier, right? You buy a product on a list of features. Like, I, I think something needs to change legally, and I don't know what it is. Um, but you, you shouldn't be able to sell a product and then as a company take features away from that product, right? Like that doesn't seem right. Man, this is tough. So is there, is there, is there like a legal period of time? Insomniac points out that the hardware can't do modern cryptographic ciphers, which could legitimately be a good reason to EOL it. They are offering a discount. That's an interesting one. On a new thermostat for a fourth gen Nest learning thermostat. They will give you... Uh, looks like $130 off, bring it down to 150 bucks. But boy, is that ever a lot of money to rebuy a thing that I thought I was buying. <sighs> but yeah, I don't know. I don't <sighs> think it's okay. Aggie says it's not fair to ask them to give that IP up. We're not asking them to give it up. We're asking them to support it. And then failing that, well, I guess they better give, give it, up. it up. 
they they're making a choice. Also, though. if it's if it's fourteen year old software for a thermostat, it's probably fine to give that up. Cat OS goes fairly sure Home Assistant went through the cloud. Yeah, so some Home Assistant integrations are through the cloud, which is why I insisted on finding thermostats that didn't. So my Ecobees do not. Yeah, makes sense. They are controllable locally by Home Assistant, which means that if my so, internet's down, I can still adjust my in-floor heat. That's that's exactly how I would want to do that purchasing decision for sure. But yeah, I don't know. I, th I think they need to figure something out because this, this is happening with lots of different products where they're just being like, no, nah, we're not going to support it anymore. And 14 years is a long time, but it's still them going, well, we're not going to support this anymore for a device that traditionally people expect these things to last forever, right? Um, yeah, I, I expect a thermostat to just be, a, if I bolt it to my house, functionally, I expect it to be part of my house. Yeah. Like, and, and I guess the, the line would be if it's something that is expected to be included when I sell the house. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, a, yeah, most people aren't going to rip their nest off the wall or their dishwasher out. You know, yeah. that, that to me is, is the line, right? Yeah. So if it, if it's, if it becomes part of my house, I expect it to, you know, last like my house. I mean, it's not like the thermostats that we had in my house when I was a kid, just like, you know, oh yeah, I, the mercury in the little tube went bad, so we throw it. What, what are you even talking about? No, it's a thermostat. It's part of the house. You just you need to be able to control the heat and the cold. I mean, I, I think have to assume. Yeah, like it's like light switches. What am I going to change all my light switches? Because there's like a cryptographic compatibility. Practically all mine because they're breaking because our home apartment builder sucks. But anyways, um, um. Raiden428 says, do you expect a smart watch to last as long as a regular watch? Is a shorter lifespan a trade-off for the features? Um, for a watch, There's a difference though. between the device dying and the device being killed by a company. Because, like, I could still use a Pebble smartwatch if I was willing to use a black and white display. You know, and I'm willing to, you know, fight with the Rebel app or whatever. Uh, no, also, that went open source. So that's a great example of Google actually open sourcing something that they took over and killed. So that that is how it's supposed to work. Funny, we should be talking about smartwatches, but um, yeah. And like it, honestly, I think I think when people are looking at a traditional watch uh, versus a smartwatch, I think they are. It is very easy to to do the calculus of figuring out, hey, this thing might not last as long as this mechanical device that in a lot of cases can last practically forever. It's also, not necessarily easy to be like, I'm going to make a random guess on how long this company is going to support this thing. I also think there's a sort, a sort of a, sig, a sort of implied support period too, right? Like when I, when I buy a smartphone accessory, I think the implication is that it's, a, it's kind of a piece of my smartphone. I don't necessarily compare it to a regular watch. And the pitch, the original pitch that the company's making is also hugely important. Like when Google sold the Nest, or I guess when Nest sold the Nest, because I don't think they'd been acquired by Google yet at that point, though you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong on the timeline. When they sold the Nest, they were just selling a thermostat. They were like, it's a thermostat. By the way, it also connects to your phone. It's smart and it learns. They, they didn't say like, like to your point earlier, that, that it'll stop working in 14 years. But they and, did say that it connects to your phone and it's smart and it learns. So but it's any not of a those phone things, accessory. Totally. It's but a any, home accessory. If any of those things stop, it's now, it was now, in my opinion, falsely advertised. Yeah, because it does still work as a thermostat, but that was never really how they pitched it. They pitched it as a piece of my home that does all this cool stuff in the cloud. Whereas, no, to me, the smartwatch is an accessory for your phone. Like, I... I and maybe part of that is just like my own mental gymnastics here, like right, trying to divide a line that was something I intuitively understood or, you know, something that I believe, but not necessarily everyone would agree with, right? Man. This is wild, dude. Like, there, this is just the tip of this spear. Every, I mean, this is becoming more and more of a problem. Every smart device anyone's ever bought is going to be deprecated at some point. And probably not properly, in our opinion. Yeah. And then what? It's just, it's e-waste. That's it. 